A Himalayan village named Tame has been engulfed by a glacial lake outburst flood, or some kind of flood. It's unclear at this point. I'm going to check into it, and if I've found something, it means that I've uploaded this video and you're watching it, so I must have found something. Video has emerged of the flood in progress. It looks like, according to the article at least, that there aren't any reported deaths or injuries, but dozens of buildings have been destroyed in this flood. You can see the people here escaped to the hillside and were watching from above, but the flood has clearly filled most of the valley base. It's also likely this video is a little past the peak of the flood because you can see all of this muddy debris but not much flow at this time. The flow is concentrated in the river channel but it clearly was expanded over a larger area earlier on. This video is a bit better at seeing the extent of the muddy debris across the valley floor. All right. I think I'm going to try and find where is a potential site of this glacial outburst flood. Glacial outburst flood is when a glacial lake overtops its moraine or and then leads to the collapse. Now, here is Tame, and it's actually in the Everest region, so it's amongst some of the highest mountains in the world. Let me just zoom out to show where Everest is. Everest is over here, Mount Everest, and we've also got Chok. OU, which is also an 8,000 meter peak. And I'm going to try and work Oh, We've already got some very suspicious looking lakes here, but that's actually, that lake is over the other side. So that's not going to be one of the affected. Let's head in towards Tame Valley here. And it does look like there's the villages, the section where it's on the left or the right of the river. Is it this valley, or is it the other valley? Is it this one, where the flood came down? You should be able to tell, because if people were running to a hillside and looking at it from the side, I think it must be this valley. Yeah, that looks right, doesn't it? That looks kind of like the video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the viewpoint. So this is where people ran up this hillside in order to escape the flood. So now actually you can see this is a secondary river channel that we're seeing the water coming down and then it goes off into the mist and that's the main river down there. So that was probably in much bigger flow off in this side. And then this is our minor flow. Now, let me just show you why I'm pretty confident about this. Well, so there's this red building here. I think that's that red building. There's a blue building that goes off like that. We've got this small blue building that fits with that small blue building. And then we've got these green buildings that fits here. And then it goes up like this. We've got this complex, which I think has been washed away. And then this is this. Now I know there's this yellow building here, but I think that probably that wasn't built by the, in this imagery. And then this also fits this sort of shaped uh, building here. And then this one also fits to here. So I'm just explaining why. I feel pretty confident that this is the view we're looking at. And that means that it's up this valley that is where there was the, the probably this glacial outburst flood. And it's not that long of a valley, which means it's, yeah, it looks very likely to be a glacial outburst flood. Um, one of the things to check for is dams, if there are upstream dams, but I really don't think there are in this case. So let's take a look at this lake, which probably broke its banks, broke the moraine. Some other video here that is claimed to be from the same event. I haven't confirmed this. Let's take a look up this valley. So I'm just gonna scroll around so that we're seeing an angle. My goodness, look at the size of this valley. So let's go up and see what's up here. Yeah, looks like there's a What's up here? So we've got some moraines. There's a terminal moraine off this glacier here. I don't see a lake yet. There's a bit of shade here, but no, that this doesn't look like a... So there's no lake here. There's a moraine comes around. And is there a lake here anywhere? Possibly in here? 
So not that clear imagery. I think that ah, now it's coming a bit clearer now. I'm going to be checking the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery in a moment. So maybe that will reveal something. It could be something that possibly one of these lakes here. Now these don't look like lakes because they're frozen over in this imagery. But this is a this flat sort of patch looks like a lake to me. That's a lake. That's a lake. That's a lake. And oh, here we go. This actually might be something in here. It's like an unstable terminal moraine with a newly formed glacial lake at the end of this glacier. So we've got a few potential candidates up here. My feeling is that it's maybe this one. It looks particularly unstable. Now in the previous case that um, is in our other video from the one in Sikkim, what happened was there was a there was a collapse off the side into of a lateral moraine into the lake that then produced a surge in the lake that then overtopped um, the end of the domain. One of the things we can do in Google Earth is to check the past imagery. So I'm just going to have a look at that. Yeah, this is quite revealing. Um, this isn't revealing. This is the 1985 image, which is totally useless. Too coarse. But if we go forward, we've got one from 2008 here. And this is the same region. And you can see this. There's actually hardly any indication of a lake at all at this time. And so what is that? That's 16 years ago. Basically no lake here. You can see these other lakes down here. They look fairly, fairly chill in a, in a way. I, I don't know. I, I would be more suspicious about this one, particularly as there basically wasn't really a lake even in 2008. So anyway, let's go forward in time. And if we go forward to 2013, it's kind of snowed over, but there may be some growth in the lake. And then if we go to 2014, this is a shows the lake. It's frozen, but you can see that it's there and it's grown since 2008. And if we go forward another step, mm, 2015, no good. That's all cloudy and snowy. And that's also a bit too snowy to see. Um, ooh, what's happening? There is another one before we get to the most recent image. Yeah, so now you can see it looks like the lake has grown. I mean, of course, it's frozen over, snow covered, but looks like it's grown. And if we go forward, keep on going forward, come on, load our 2021 image. Then we've got the lake a little bit bigger. But you can see for in 2008, there was really hardly anything, but it has grown in size. So but I'm really spending a lot of time on this one lake, and I don't even know whether it was this lake, but uh, it's certainly a candidate. I don't think there's anything else in the valley. I'll just have a quick thorough check. Yeah, I haven't really found any other particular candidates. So if I were to make a an outrageous guess, perhaps an avalanche or rockfall came down into this lake. It overtopped, leading to the collapse of this moraine, which would have caused an outburst into this lake and then down on through the valley. But uh, it could be perhaps one of these other lakes, or maybe there's something else here that is not clear in Google Earth that I've missed. I'm going to check the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery now. Not at all surprised to say that it is totally cloudy in the latest, in the last Sentinel-2 imagery that was before this event anyway, because it was on the 14th. There is Tame down there. But what we can do at least is to check out the imagery before this event in a, on a cloud-free day. So I'm going to go back in time until it's cloud-free and we can take a look at these lakes. So the nearest imagery where it's relatively clear, I mean there's still quite a bit of cloud, is on the 30th of July and down here is Tame and this is our valley where this flood has come down and this is actually quite revealing because I can see all of those lakes clear of ice. In fact snow cover is pretty minimal, it looks like there's been a big thaw and in the days that followed this has all been under, it looks like pretty heavy rain. But have a look at these lakes, and particularly this one that we were looking at in on Google in Google Earth. It's gotten, it looks bigger. It looks like there's not much snow in in the area. These are all totally clear of ice at this time of year, and so 
yeah, um, I feel quite relatively confident that it was this lake, but we will find out soon as the research and the investigation begins into the causes of this. But yeah, this lake looks quite, quite probable. So I'm going to leave it at that. I've got to get to some other stuff, but thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.